Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel and welcome to the Her Mannerisms Lucid Dreams palette. Well, loose pigment palette, I should say. So I took photos of what it looks like inside when you receive it and then I took them all out of the plastic holders that they come in and color coded them. So I will be doing the swatches based off of color and if you have not watched the uh, review and or look that I created with these colors definitely check them out. To take out the colors or what they come in is a little pot and you have to peel the tabs, take them out, which is super cool. It was actually very, very satisfying to take them out. I used the same brush I used in my last one. These pigments will work with fluffy brushes or they will look, work with synthetic packer brushes as well. Yet again, um, my camera was locked, so these will be displayed differently. To begin, we are starting with the purple. I know, shocker. Who is shocked? Anyone? Anyone? No one. Okay. The farthest right of my hand is Lovely Amethyst, and it is a gorgeous lavender purple, which kind of seems matte when you put it on, but when you blend it out, it does turn into a shimmer. Then we have Vigorous, which is a deep purple, and that has hints of violet and it plays very well with lovely amethyst and it also has some hints of pink then we do have uh abstract which is a navy but in the container it looks like it's purple so it is with our purples and then lastly we have prima donna which is a gorgeous barbie pink iridescent color it is absolutely gorgeous i tell ya Moving on to the blues, we have um, Kinetic, which is a gorgeous baby blue shimmer, super pretty. And then we have Sapphire, which is a little chalky, but it did go on pretty nice, it felt pretty, it looks pretty, and it does stay true to its name, which is Sapphire. And then, just a reminder, Abstract would be a part of these blues um, if the container didn't look so moving on, we have Galactic now, which is a dark emerald green, and it is very smoky. After that, we have Envy, and I did do these swatches so you can kind of see how they smoke out so they're not perfectly done. Um, they're blended out a little bit. Envy has a similar aftershine as Galactic does, if you can kind of see it in the light. Moving on, we have Oscar, which was a little streaky, which is why the the swatch is kind of splotchy, because it was kind of hard to get the color. But it does remind me of Oscar, the lovely guy from Sesame Street, who lives in a trash can. And then Grunge, which I thought was going to be a purple, actually turned to be a pink, and or brown, not quite sure. And it is a silky smooth colors absolutely gorgeous i would honestly put it all over my body it felt amazing i think it's great for medium skin as well illuminate is the top color which is a gorgeous uh metallic white it felt really nice it's a beautiful highlight color absolutely gorgeous Lux, which is a glittery yellow and it is silky. It felt amazing. It is super glittery, if you can't tell by the swatch on my hand. And then we have Vintage, is that center shade, and that is a brown gold by the looks of it. Super pretty. Then we also have Tangy, which is an, a metallic orange. I feel like it would look better on lighter skin because, well, I don't know. I am kind of like neutral towards oranges. I think it does look kind of nice on my hand though, but we'll see. Maybe I'll give that a go, give, do a tutorial on that. And then last but not least, which is Rhythm, and it is a gorgeous red. Perfect for a blush, perfect on your lids if you like putting red on your lids. Uh, it is super pretty. So I hope you guys enjoyed 
these swatches and check out the video. It will be linked on this video as well in the description. Thank you for watching so much, friends, and see you in the video. Bye!